Hi guys. Well, somebody asked the question, how do you start X-Plane in VR? Uh, in Oculus Quest VR, that is to say. Um, well, actually, it's pretty damned easy, especially in the Quest 2. Uh, if you've already played the game, then you'll see it in your library. And it's just a question of clicking on it to get it going. However, there's a first time for everything. So I'm going to show you quickly how to set up X-Plane for VR for the very first time. In the Quest 2, it couldn't be easier because once you've enabled the Oculus Link cable, you have access to a thing called the virtual desktop. We click on that and we go over to our screen. Now, forget this line in the middle because I'm recording this in OBS uh, to put onto the YouTube site later on. Um, so that's just telling me what I'm recording, what I'm seeing, and that's the program that I'm putting out. Um, I'm not a blogger. I'm a... I'm an X-Plane man, I'm a glider pilot, so if I move my head too quick uh, and it's not quite up to the usual quality that you're looking at on YouTube, please forgive me, uh, I'll try and get better as we go along. So, very quickly to start, you just find X-Plane as you normally do on your normal desktop. Uh, you don't have a double click facility, but you hold the, the trigger on it and don't hold it too long and it will pop up and you just click on open. So what's going to happen now is X-Plane is going to load up in exactly the same way that it does when you're looking at your real desktop. And I'm going to go to settings, just point the hand controller at it, click on it, go to settings. And the, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to VR hardware. I'm going to click on the enable VR button. Once I've done that, the desktop disappears and I'm taken to the hangar. And here, from here on in, this is where I control everything to do with X-Plane. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to click Done on there. And I'm going to go back to what you see as your normal menu setting. I'm going to start a new flight. And I'm going to click on Start Flight. I happen to be flying in the Andes at the moment, so you might not recognize uh, the turf. Uh, but that's literally all that you do. Now, that was the first time. I'll just run through it once again for you because I'm going to go out now. Um, go back to main menu. I'm going to quit explain. So, just to repeat the process, all you do is you fire up your quest, enable the link cable. We assume you know how to do that uh, because you've asked a question about the Oculus Quest. You click on the virtual desktop. You see your virtual desktop in front of you here. You click, you double click, or you click once on your explain folder. Wait till the square comes up, and that brings up the sub menu, and you click open, and that's all you need to do. Once you've got it open, as I said before, you go to the VR tab, enable the VR, and you're up and running. Now. That's the first time load. That's the only time you ever have to do that. Let's show you what happens once you've already got it. Once you've already played the game once, or played the simulator once, I should say. Once you've already played the simulator once, then there's no need to come to the desktop whatsoever. Unless you want to get other programs working like Voice Attack or uh, Little, Little Nav Map. Uh, or if you want to play multiplayer, obviously you're going to have to come to the desktop then and get those programs running. But again, it, it's your desktop. You you open the programs in exactly the same way you would any other program. So if I wanted to use little nap map, for instance, it's down there on my taskbar, as you see. Uh, I just click it and up it comes and I'm ready to roll. And this is the task I'm setting up for the group for later on this week. Uh, let's just put that down for a minute. So, yeah, second time load, couldn't be any easier. Let me get rid of the virtual desktop. Go back to my standard Oculus Quest uh, control panel. I've gone to apps. I can see X-Plane there. Uh, and you can see it, tell me, it tells me I loaded it four minutes ago. So I simply click on it. Sit back and wait. Now, a little note about virtual reality. Still explain in any way shape or form so the time it takes to load the scenery at, to your uh, start point on the airfield it's going to be exactly the same in vr as it is on your desktop 
doesn't speed it up whatsoever. So the load time is going to be entirely dependent on the quality of your flight sim computer, your rig. Um, if it takes a minute on a normal desktop, it's going to take a minute in VR. If it takes five minutes because you've got an oldish type rig, it's going to take five minutes. So have the copy to hand. You might need it. Click on new flight, set your flight up, set your weather up. You're all familiar with this. I'm not going to go through this lot again. Um, set your weather up. Find your airport. If you click on the airport there, you'll find that the keyboard pops up. So you can very quickly key in where you want to go to. Um, and then once you're done, click on Start Flight. And sit back and be patient. So I'm going to go back into settings now and show you something. I'm going to go to the joystick. Now, you can only do this in VR. You can't preset this up. You have to be working in VR to do this. Uh, but you notice that I've not been using the left-hand controller much. That's because all of the controls I actually need for flight are on the right-hand controller, which gives me uh, a couple of spare buttons on the left-hand controller. So I'm going to reassign one of those now. So I'm going to press the nearest one to me, which is marked in here as a little X. Um, so if I click it, you'll see that at the bottom there, uh, it actually comes into play and this command will is initiate a winch launch all I did to do that uh, originally it came back and said it was unassigned as you can expect so again you click on the edit button as you would do with any other joystick control uh, I'll go to the top and type in X hyphen winch and then I will select this command will initiate a winch launch apply it so that little X button on my left hand controller has now been assigned to a function within free flight let's go back to and see that in action uh, I'm just going to close the canopy why is that not closing I know because it seems like it works well, there you go. so we'll close the canopy close the air brakes do my usual checks. Just wind the altitude back. Put the speed, put the bottom barrier onto total energy. Flip the top onto netto. And check we've got electrics. We'll assume I've done all the other things. So we're good to go. So now instead of having to bring up that context menu and flip through them all, okay, all I need to do is go to my left hand controller, click the X key, which is the nearest the nearest button towards you on the hand controller, and sit back and wait for Chris, that launch controller, to give us your clear and get that tug going. So that's the end of this tutorial, how to get started in X-Plane VR. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. There will be more how-to tutorials coming later. If you liked the, the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button. We don't mind. We might not be as polished as other YouTubers, but we are heavily focused on gliding because that is our passion. That's what we love most and hopefully see you all in the next tutorial thanks for watching